Hello, I'm Sally Pointer and in the UK the nettle fibre harvest is just about ready to start. So I'm here to issue you with this year's Nettles for Textiles challenge. Those of you that have been working with nettles for a while might remember that in the last couple of years we've had the one nettle sewing thread challenge and also the three nettle challenge where we encourage you to pick just three nettles, process them any way you like and make a finished object and we saw so many amazing things coming out of those challenges. The challenges are always fairly straightforward. We want them to work for people who are new to nettles as well as those of you that have been wrangling them for years and this year is no exception. The nettles are just about there. These ones are flowering, some are going to seed. That's usually a good indication that the fibre is just about ready. And this year, because the world needs a bit of kindness and friendship, we're encouraging you to make a friendship bracelet. So we don't mind how many or how few nettles you pick, whether they're tall or short, whether they're red or green, whether you work them green, whether you dry them, whether you wreck them, whether you scrape them, whether you rub them, doesn't matter, you use whatever method you like best. Maybe try something new. What we'd like you to do though, is pick some nettles, process them any way you like, make yarn or cordage, and then make a bracelet that's wearable. So I've picked just four nettles this morning. For my area, they're only just ready, so I'm still checking them out. And usually that means making quite a lot of fairly short lengths of cordage while I work them out. And that means that things like bracelets are a really good use of those early practice bits of cord and fibre. I've got a bracelet on at the moment that I made yesterday from the very first nettle of the season. Let's see what these turn into. So the bracelet I'm wearing here was just a simple length of bark on cordage, the sort of thing that makes a perfect first project. Really good way of checking the first nettle of the season. It was quite long, so all I did was crochet loop it up to shorten it tied it on my wrist. Really couldn't be much simpler than that. Do you know what? Just a piece of string made from nettle around your wrist, maybe with a bead or two, that counts as well. Those of you that are a little more advanced, well you might do something interesting with your nettles. I've just peeled the ones that I picked a moment ago and when I get them home I'm going to scrape them to release the fibre, then dry them, rub them, probably splice them, see how fine a thread I can get. And I'm thinking perhaps a macrame style bracelet might be quite nice, use some interesting knots. Uh, those of you that like finger loop braiding, that would be a really good option. Those of you that weave, maybe a narrow woven band. Those of you that knit or crochet or do lace making. Oh, there are so many ways of doing this. What we'd like to see though, is a picture of your finished bracelet being worn either by yourself or your friend because hey, why not make one for a friend as well while you're at it. Tag it with the hashtag nettle friends. I'll put that in big letters. I'll also put it in the um, description of the video. And if you're able to pop onto the Facebook nettles for textiles group and show us a picture and hopefully Towards the end of the year, when everyone's had a chance to do this, because everyone's in different parts of the world and the nettles ripen at different stages, well, maybe we can make a collage with lots of wrists all around the world, all wearing bracelets made out of nettles, because we need friends. And nettles are a really good way of bringing people together. It might sound strange, but nettles do weed out the weird and the wonderful people. And we're a friendly bunch. And let's all have fun together making fibre from nettles, making textiles from nettles. Let's all be friends. Happy hedge bothering.